Hi, I'm Lori and welcome to the Way of Positive Change YouTube channel. I'm going to do two quickie readings today. First, I heard we're going to have a showdown in El Paso. Beto O'Rourke will be going there. Uh, well, he, I think he lives there or around there. Um, he's from there and he was on the city council there. So he's going to be doing holding a rally uh, while the president is holding a rally this evening. So first I wanted to see how is he going to do? How will he make out? Will he have the attendance that he wants? Is, there, is he going to do well with it? And then I'm going to do a quick reading also on whether Pelosi, Schumer, and the president will be able to come to an agreement and avoid a shutdown. In the past readings, if you've watched, uh, we know that Trump is going to be uh, putting a wall up and he will get funds for it one way or another. He will that will happen, but I want to know in the second uh, reading, quick reading that I'm going to do today, if um, they'll be able to avoid a shutdown and come to an agreement. First, I'm going to ring the bell, and again, I just want to thank, take a minute to thank um, the new subscribers and everyone that subscribed. Uh, I've had the ability to, the time to do some readings for um, a few of you, and I'm very grateful for that. That's been a lot of fun getting to know you and meet you. If you'd like to have a reading with me, email me at the way of positive change at gmail. All right. Thank you. And hit the bell if you want to be notified when the next video is coming up. All right. So first I'm going to look, take a look at Beto, Beto O'Rourke. He is a Libra. Uh, and he's from El Paso. He's going to hold a rally simultaneously uh, as the president. Will Beto O'Rourke have um, good confidence, a good turnout? Will he, how will he be seen? Will he have victory? Will he have victory with this? This is unknown, this is uh, uncharted territory, I wanted to say, uncharted, because I don't think anyone else has done, challenged the president like this. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a really great idea or not, but Beto O'Rourke is going there. So, um, will Beto? be victorious this evening as he holds his rally will he be victorious all right there we go first card okay is the knight of pentacles so uh this means a slow and steady uh, pace uh trying to put this together i don't know how long he's been working on it he's also gathered facts so he he's coming armed he is coming armed now, will he be able to do it? It's not going to be the way he wishes uh, or how people wished he could do this. This is on its side. And we know in the second place in the Celtic Cross that that's the challenge. So he's not going to get everything that he wants. Um, this was a big idea um, and a, a push for energy for him. He's a little worried. He is definitely a little worried. Um, he wasn't sure this is the past spot. You know that he didn't get his seat um, that he was running for. This is in the past. I, I'm not sure that he slept very well last night. All right, so um, overall, you know, he comes forward. Even though he didn't get the seat, he, people do see him as a, a person that wins, you know. All right. And then in the future comes the seven. So the seven of cups. That means something about the commitment um, or misinformation. That's the shell game. Remember, this is nebulous soup. If you've watched any of the other uh, readings or videos that I've done, you know that I like to have been reading for a very long time. That's why my cards are worn. Um, I like to name my cards, and I call this the non-commitment uh, nebulous soup card. All right, so something about what Beto planned uh, will not come about. There's going to be an issue with security, um, drama, competition. Something happens there. Something that we we can't see. All right. And if there's waiting, there may be a delay. Um, something doesn't start off the way it's supposed to. Uh, there's an issue going on here. Okay, so... Uh, this is how people will see him. So he's definitely not getting what he wants. Um, 
I think the president uh, or, you know, security, there's going to be a problem. There's just going to be a problem. I don't think they're going to allow him to do this at exactly the same time. Or it's too close to where the president is. I think they're not very far apart. Um, they do think that Beto is a rising star. So that's important. You know, they have hopes that he can do it. Um, they will support him. So whatever happens, the people are going to support him. And uh, they care about him. They love him. And they want to join forces with him. Um, they're going to be behind him. I don't think he's going to have it the way he wants it. There's going to be a problem and some sort of a delay. Um, and what's on the bottom here? Um, it may have to do with the uh, government choice or overruling a time, security issues, drama, uh, all the all the things that <laughs> can uh, be hidden that we can't see and that we can you know contemplate and think about. Um, so they're going to be behind him, but there's going to be a few issues that are not going to work to his advantage. Okay, that's the first reading. Now the second one. I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, we're having some cloudiness, so uh, it'll probably readjust itself. All right, so for the second reading, I am going to see, uh, like we said, if Pelosi, Schumer, and the President will be able to come to an agreement to avoid the shutdown. All right. Will we have, uh, will the Democrats and Republicans uh, all come together to have a victorious meeting and come up seeking, will we have victory in seeking a solution so that we can avoid a shutdown? Shutdown would be losing, so a victory card uh, at the end of this reading as the outcome will show that uh, we indeed will avoid it and we will have a meeting of the minds. Will there be a meeting of the minds? Meeting of minds between the two parties. Meeting of minds. Yes or no? Feeling that yet? Ooh. Okay, there we go. All right. I always look outside towards the window. It's kind of like when I'm reading for someone face to face and I, I you know, scribble on a piece of paper like automatic writing or just scribble because it's that right brain, left brain thing. Um, if you use your hand to write, that's a left brain function, and it allows the right brain, which controls your psychic ability, um, it houses the psychic ability and uh, your, your clairvoyance and clairsentience and clairaudience to work um, easily. Okay. All right, so there'll be quick changes for the better. So that's good. So it looks like they will come to, they're going to, they're trying, you know. Uh, we don't have celebration yet, so the, there's no singing and dancing yet. All right. Um, and again, you know, this is, you know, there are a lot of women that are going to be voting about this. So some of the women just aren't going for it. There will be offers coming back and forth. Uh, they're going to see Trump as, as, as being, you know, acting like a child. Um, okay, they know. You know, in the past we've had you know, explosions and people not being able to make the uh, agreements and come to an agreement. Um, so there's problems, you know, that's indicative of problems that happened in the past. We are trying, this is a card of balance, uh, the chariot card, and it's getting, you know, uh, all parties together to come to an agreement. They're at least meeting. And, you know, this is... Uh, Obstinance, greed, um, addictions. Um, I'm going to say, of course, if you watched the previous reading on what Trump and the wall and his uh, real motivation, he's made a deal with somebody and he's got to pull this off or he's going to lose ground. All right. This looks like other members, important members of the government are going to come in and say, hey, you guys have got to put this together. You know, they know they've got to balance it out. Um, there's new information and new uh, energy coming into this with the Knight of Wands. We'll hear about this soon. They're looking. They're seeking a solution. You know, and this is representative of the past when they have been. You know, the Two of Wands has two poles that are, uh, they're bolted in here. So they've had 
um, times in the past where they've been able to come together that were victorious. And here's an offer, so this is good. Um, I'm going to say, and we have a lot of emotions, all that water in the King of Cups, I'm going to say that one particular male comes up with a really great idea and he's able to pull people together. Um, that might be McConnell. I don't think uh, it might be McConnell. Um, anyway, this is good. This is a good outcome. Uh, this is better than what I've seen before, so I'm going to say the progress is going to be made. There's still going to be a fight, and someone's going to come out with a bandage on their head. Um, but I, I think that's good. Uh, so what do we not know about the meetings? Oh, that sucker did right there. All right, so there, again, it's going to be about money. But, you know, the people that will be in this room are intelligent. You know, that's what the falcon is on uh, the Nine of Pentacles, the woman that's on her uh, wrist that shows her knowledge, um, and she's a massed amount of money. They're going to put the money together. This is going to come out okay. It might get a little scary, but it's going to come out okay. So that's good. Um, Beto, he's got some work to do. He's got to eat his Wheaties, doesn't he? Yes. And um, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, if you have any ideas for upcoming uh, videos, please leave them in the comments. I do read them. Thanks again for subscribing, and I will see you probably Wednesday or possibly Valentine's Day. All right, thanks. Bye.